Aloha Wild Heart, take two. <laughs> Someone gave me the door, my husband was in the bath with my daughter, so couldn't happen. But I'm here to do a Feel Good Friday meditation and it's all about being a badass. It's about being a badass in your life and it's about being a badass in your business. So, why am I talking about this? Well, uh, I've been listening to Jenny Lawson's book, Furiously Happy, as I mentioned in a previous post, and I gave away the book to uh, Jen Lowe and totally love her, so proud of her. She's been in the group coaching program. She invited all these amazing women to this group, and I'm super stoked that they're now part of this tribe and part of this party. But uh, the reason that I wanted to jump on today was to talk about how you can absolutely bring your shadow and your light together and you can have the life that you wanna be if you will accept all of it as part of your learning and part of your evolution and part of your growth. So, in Jenny Lawson's book, she talks about how she is you know, clinically depressed, how she has major anxiety, how she has any slew of different mental disorders, how she has to take antipsychotics sometimes, and all these other things, and she acknowledges that that's just part of her life and she understands that. She pulls out her hair, she cuts, she does a lot of self-harm. And she recognizes that all of this is part of her journey, that it makes her life extremely hard, especially when she's trying to tour around the country and she has a lot of panic about getting on planes. But it also, as she said, if there were no suffering, there'd be no understanding of the relief of suffering. If there were no darkness, there'd be no light. And I know that a lot of you are holistic practitioners, are yoga devotees, so you understand that you need the balance to everything. And one of the things that one of my yoga mentors taught me a while back is the understanding that if you do read the Bhagavad Gita, which is one of the core texts in yoga philosophy, then you would see that in the storytelling, that there is so much about war and rape and pillaging and violence and all of that. It is not some beautiful retelling of how your ideal life should be, but it's showing you that all of humanity has the darkness and the light. And so it's up to you to decide what you want and how you can make all of the things that make your life challenging into triumphs and how you can combine it all and be uniquely you, knowing that you're not alone in struggling and needing to overcome and feeling at ease sometimes and feeling completely on top of the world and just going through all of the gradients of emotion that there are in the world. Also, that when you do that and you completely own it, that you are totally a badass when you're not making excuses for who you are, but you're understanding that this, these are my pitfalls, these are my you know, strengths, this is how I am a force to be reckoned with, then you're amazing and I want you to have that in your life and in your business. I want the story that you're telling out there in the world to be something that motivates people to really get them to you know, be part of your tribe and be aligned with you to really create good in the world and the ripple effects that it can create. So all that said, um, me personally, my response from reading Jenny Lawson's book has been one where I really feel like suddenly I have permission to be myself. I don't know if it's her use of language or the way that she expresses herself with such amazing phenomenal humor that I am laughing out loud all the times that I've listened. I've gifted this book, you know, a, a bunch of times already and I only started recently listening to it because I love it and I want more of that empowering kind of storytelling out there in the world. And so she's not making excuses, she's owning who she is and it's absolutely fantastic. But one of the things that, you know, it could be just the fact that she says, um, what the shit a lot or she uses the F word a lot or, or any number of those things, but there's something about the way that she tells her story that I feel like it gives me permission to step more into mine, and that's something that I needed. You know, I've been experiencing challenges with one of my clients, I've been, you know, being patient and understanding that everything moves in cycles, I've been pushing my own growing edge and really growing my business and really looking at my own areas of improvement or just any areas of growth, and so. This long weekend, this Memorial Day weekend, I'm wearing red, white, and blue. Um, I wanted to jump on. My friends are getting married, and they're getting married here in Austin. And you can hear my daughter in the background. She's getting ready for uh, bedtime. And I'm going to jump off of here after I do this Feel Good Friday, Friday meditation to help her out. But um, you, the, my friends are getting married, and their hashtag as they're getting married in Austin is South by South Wed, which is so clever, and they're having live bands, and they're doing it their own way. They've been together for 10 years. They've already been married for, you know, like one of those years, and they're doing this amazing ceremony to celebrate love, and they're doing it their own way, which is another thing that I want to remind you of and to encourage you is that you can totally do it your own way. You can, 
you know, be the person that you want to be and do the things that you want to do and that it's all going to work out, you know, do it with integrity, do it with vivaciousness and energy. Um, so this meditation today is going to be all about being a badass. It's going to be about how you can tap into that power and that you don't need to make excuses for shining brightly and for just being so incredibly you. So. If you are comfortable, aloha Erin. Get yourself into a comfortable position and close your eyes if that feels good for you. Relax your shoulders. Relax the muscles in your face. And start to tap into your heart space. But I want you to go deeper. So one of the things that I love that my prophet mentor does is she asks you a question and then she encourages you to go deeper. She asks you the question again, same exact question. Then she asks it to you again, again, same exact question, and again and again. And usually by the fifth time, you drill to the core of what it is that you need to know about yourself, about the situation, about whatever's happening. So I wanna ask you, what would allow you to feel like a complete badass in your life and your What would allow you to feel like a complete badass in your life and in your business? What would allow you to feel like a complete badass in your life and in your business? What would allow you to feel like a complete badass in your life and in your business. And one more time, what would allow you to feel like a complete badass in your life and in your business? And when you're ready, gently floating your eyes open. Aloha, Jericho. I am so excited that you guys are part of this tribe. I want to raise a glass to you during this social happy hour. It's been a long week and mama likes her mama juice. Not all the time, but every now and again it's a nice treat. And I'm going to go get some chocolate and I'm going to enjoy this night and this weekend. And I really hope that you enjoy yours too. I'm so, so grateful that you are here. I'm grateful for all of your energy and all of your support. And I encourage you to go make your story beautiful and really, truly go be a badass. All right. Aloha.